हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज भूपेश वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो थैंक्स फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन बैक सो टुडे विल बी टेकिंग अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन ओपन टेलीमेट्री दिस इज इन लाइन विद द प्रीवियस सेशन दैट वी हैव इट ऑन ओपन टेलीमेट्री ऑन यू नो डॉकर बेस्ड एनवायरनमेंट सो इफ यू हैव नॉट यू नो लुक एट द अदर वीडियोस यू कैन सिंपली गो लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड गो टू द ओपन टेलीमेट्री playlist and then you can watch the other videos before we get into the detail of this today's session what we'll be doing we'll be doing a quick recap so what we have done so far we have done open telemetry monitoring of matrix logs and traces on kubernetes based environment in my first video in the second video we have done the same thing on docker based environment and today we'll be looking specifically how to monitor logs from a from a containerized application and send those logs specifically via open telemetry or hotel corrector to a to a locky receiver which will be ultimately visible on to the you know grafana so that is the ask for today so what we'll be doing uh, to to make it you know as an accomplishment will be first of all installing uh, a microservices app uh, as a docker container then we'll install open telemetry collector as a container and then we'll install locky as a data source so that we can send the logs to the data source as a container and finally we'll see all the logs on to the grafana just to make sure that everything is coming properly okay so let's quickly get started before we uh, waste any more time so what we have done we have created a very small you know, github page for the same you can simply come on to this page is a uh, readme logs in the open telemetry repository and this page will contain all the relevant step that are needed to do the same thing on to your uh, um, docker based environment so let's quickly see what we are trying to do in this uh, so I've open the same doc documentation on the uh, vs code so yeah these are the, these are the definitely reference documentation so we'll be using this locky receiver reference documentation which is actually helping us to create a hotel Portal collector configuration file, and you can just read more about it. How uh, the logs will be shipping from, uh, you know, a container to locky receiver, and finally uh, to Portal collector, and going to the uh, locky database. Right. So let's. I'm not going to explain the details of how Portal collector works because that is already being explained in previous video. But let's get quickly onto the practical implementation of it. Okay. So I'll simply okay. Let's quickly understand a little bit context or the theory about it. So suppose you have a application that is successfully emitting matrix traces using hotel collector, and your logs is emitting and sending it via prompt tail agent. So now what you need to do, you need to just have open telemetry collector as a as a you know mediator so that. Uh, first of all, prompt tail will send to open telemetry collector on port number thirty five hundred, and then it will be sent to the uh, you know uh, locky via locky receiver, which will help you to do, do that uh, via pipeline. So we'll see all those configuration in a while. So you can read more about this text and the you know theory. I'm not very uh, not keen to do theoretical things, but uh, let's quickly clone this repository. Go to this folder. cd hotel logs and then run this docker compose file but i'm not running it directly first of all i'll go to this folder and then i'll explain what this docker compose file contains so let me close everything so that it becomes crystal clear now the same thing is being opened here so i'll go to the hotel logs i'm inside this folder now before i run that command I just show you what is happening. So first of all, this is version networks is locky. Now we are actually initiating few services. Basically, if you see, overall there are only five services or five containers that I am bringing it up. So first of all is my locky as a data source. I am bringing it up. This is the latest image I am pulling. It's running on thirty one hundred port, and this is the configuration file of uh, locky which is being stored as a stored within the container. Right. Now, second service which I am bringing it up or container which I am using is Grafana, which is the latest. Uh, the image is ten point two. Now, these are the environment variable that I am passing into my Grafana container. That I am making sure that 
uh, disable login so i'm disabling the login prompt so that it should not it should not ask me to log in via username and password anonymous enabled is true so that anyone can log in directly and anonymous enabled which is true is will get all the admin permission there is the admin rule so we will see this importance you know once we run this docker compose file now these are the entry point now what, what i'm doing additionally within the container i'm creating this folder and in this folder data source folder i'm creating ds.yaml the content of ds.yaml is your lucky data source and that will be added to your grafana the moment you run this file and grafana will definitely run on uh, port number 3000 which actually depends on this lucky container first of all this will get up and then this will get up fine and then the prompt tail is an agent which will actually uh, read the logs from the container and then we will send to hotel connect okay. so it is pulling this image uh, this is the configuration file which I am passing it from my local current directory to the container as a read only. So let me just show you this uh, prompted local configuration file. So this is straightforward. I am just saying that this is the server position client. So this line is very, very important. So I am saying whatever logs that are being read by prompt tail agent, and this is actually script configuration. You can see. It is reading the container name and this uh, uh, taking the uh, 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 container logs from this job name and then pushing it all everything to the hotel collector on this 3500 port. We'll see that hotel collector container in a while, but this is what is the configuration that is passed for a prompt tail. Fine, and this is getting started as a configuration file. Now let's see this log. Log is nothing but a small you know container as an application. Which is just running few commands, okay? Just you can consider this as an as a you know application container. Now this is the important container which is actually bringing up the hotel collector and open telemetry collector config. This is the version that I'm bringing it up. And now what is the configuration file that I'm passing for hotel collector? So this is the configuration file hotel config.yaml. It is the same folder, and this is gets inside into the container. This is running a bottom 3500. Let's see this hotel config file. Now, hotel config file again has in have three important parameters. If you remember my previous video, receivers, processors, and exporters, and finally the service, which is the pipeline. So, receivers is nothing but your locky receivers, which I was explaining it here. This is a locky receiver, which is first of all get the logs from this receiver, uh, and the locky which has already been configured, and then it will process, it will do the uh, you know labeling uh, with, with the container name that like the locky attribute labels will be renamed as a container attribute and then all the raw format logs will process and then this is the exporter exporter is something where your end result will go so ultimately you know prompt till is sending a total collector on 3500 and this is the total collector configuration so this is actually sending it to locky data source so this is how it works so first of all mm, uh, application sends to prompt tail. Prompt tail actually collects the logs sends to hotel collector on this particular port 3500, and then finally the hotel collector configuration sent to Locky as a data source. So, so the beauty of hotel collector is, you know, in future you can simply change this exporter to something else instead of Locky you can have something else, right? So that is why we use hotel collector. And if you see the pipeline is nothing but doing all, all these things in you know, you know in a serial manner. So I'm just running only logs pipeline. This time I'm not running, you know, the matrix and traces pipeline. So receivers is this one locky. These are the processors and processing this attributes. And finally, the exporters is nothing but this. So I think this is crystal clear from understanding. So basically, we have only three files: uh, Docker Compose, which is actually bringing up five containers, and then these two things. So let me get back to my documentation again. Let me run this command. It will just bring up all these containers one by one. Okay, I'm at this location. Okay, so first of all, it is it has created the network, hotel logs, locky, and then all the five containers. So let me see whether the containers are running or not. Clear, Docker PS. Okay, all my containers are up and running. Let me see whether the Grafana is up and running or not, so I'll just do localhost. 
so now i'll just explain the uh, importance of those uh, variables environment variables that have we have passed so if you see come back here um, the uh, docker compose file uh, the grafana so i have been this auth disable login so it does not ask me a kind of login user id and password see that is disabled so that is the thing that we have done fine so i'll just go to my administration go to my databases as the databases lock which is gets added now how you may ask that how this lock has been added automatically uh, while bringing up the container so that is already being defined in this piece right we are saying that please bring up add this data source into your um, while you bring up the container of Ifana. so this is fine now let me show you the explore section where we can explore the lock key select the lock key and then i'll just select uh, the container and i can select any container and then run right i can get all the logs pertaining to this container now i'll see another label which is exporter which is nothing but otlp so you can see otlp exporter this is the additional label that's get added when you send logs via you know otlp letter if you are sending directly via prompt to loki then you will not get uh, you know this otl is a label now let's, let's add the json parser now you'll see the some next yes, okay but you can see the json related uh, labels so you can explore lock in a better way you can do like this also so suppose uh, so container i can okay let me show you one more thing so the moment i hit container label i can see all the containers so you can see all five containers are coming properly and then i can see the logs of any one particular container like this correct okay so you can see two labels are coming so we can have you can add more labels by following uh, the the orthodox documentation of Loki in this and so if you come down here so this is that Loki format and yeah this is the one three level config so we can have more three level configs and have more target labels according to that for now i'm just taking the metadata docker container name okay so that is that is what pretty much about in this session if you have any questions and clarifications what kind of videos you're looking for open telemetry uh, we can prepare that as well into the comment section but do not again do not forget to like and subscribe the channel because now uh, we'll be doing a lot of sessions or videos on open telemetry and kubernetes and grafana so that it becomes you know easy for uh, deployment and instrumentation and everything is open so you can get all these documentation easily on your you know google and everything and since the beauty of open telemetry is it is it is you know available on this uh, in the reference documentation so these are the two reference documentation that has been used to uh, to complete this video i mean we have successfully sent the logs from a container to the grafana using hotel and a locky receiver there are a number of ways to send logs but yeah we have chosen today as a locky receiver so uh, i think let me wrap up this video Thanks for now. We'll see you soon in our next session.